My first flight with the parrot and Naffy went terribly, but today I'm going to take her back up and give it another try. Hi everyone, welcome to CC Loves Drones. My name is Joseph and today I'm going to fly the parrot and Naffy for the first time since her maiden flight went terribly wrong. You may have seen my previous video entitled, A Naffy In-Flight GPS Fell. In that video, I talked about how I was 400 feet away on my first flight, 150 feet high, and suddenly the transmission from the Anafi just stopped. There was no video, it was all snowy on the app, no video at all. The GPS was in red, and in the top where it normally says land, it said no connection in red. And so, what do I do at that point? Do I hit return to home? It said GPS was in red, you know, if I hit return to home, maybe it would sell off into the sunset. So instead, I turned it back manually and flew it home. Now, luckily, the transmission from the controller to the NAFI was still working. Had it not been working, I really would have been in a pickle. So it left me with a lot less confidence about flying the NAFI again. So what was I to do? You know, should I put it in the closet and stop flying it because I was scared? Should I send it back to Parrot and tell him I didn't want it? Um, should I sell it? You know, none of those options seem viable to me because I bought the Anafi because of what it promises. 4K video, 21 megapixel stills, uh, modestly quiet compared to other uh, drones in its class. So, no, I, I didn't want to do any of those things. So instead, I decided to research the transmission issue, maybe talk to people who had gone through similar issues with their Anafis, and see if there were things I could do to the Anafi to help prevent this from happening again. During my research of the Anafi transmission problem, I found that there were three things I could do to potentially help things out. Number one, I updated the firmware on the Anafi and also the firmware on the controller. Now, the firmware was updated on my initial flight that went so badly, but an update had again happened for the firmware in between that flight and today's flight. Number two, I updated the free flight app to version 6.3.1. Now this made sense, of course. On the initial flight, the free flight app was updated then too, but an update occurred in between that flight and today's flight, so it made sense to update it again. Number three, I changed the Wi-Fi transmission from 2.4 gigahertz to five gigahertz on the Parrot and Affy. The reason is basically twofold. Number one, the five gigahertz band is less crowded than the 2.4 gigahertz band. It's kind of a no-brainer. Less crowded should translate into less interference. That's what I'm going for here. And number two, the five gigahertz band can actually transmit more data at faster velocities than a 2.4 gigahertz signal. Now the downside of switching from 2.4 to five gigahertz is that the 2.4 gigahertz should have more range, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue here. And really my biggest concern is the transmission error happening again. So five gigahertz seems like the way to go. So the changes have been made to the Parrot and Naffy. I'm feeling confident, so let's take her up. To give you a little context, this is the first test flight after I've made the changes I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm flying in the marshlands of coastal Georgia. This is a river. There are oyster beds on the left and the white. Those are visible only at low tide. And it's a good place to fly. There's nobody out here, usually just me. Those are tidal pools there next to the oyster bed. And those are birds. I believe those are egrets. And egrets hunt for mollusk and small fish. Little factoid, oysters, a single oyster can actually filter, I think, about 50 or 60 gallons of water per day. And we have millions of oysters along the coast. I was taking a few photographs here and I noticed the horizon was curved. 
Well, <laughs> well, that's good. I'm not a flat earther, and there's your evidence, right? But seriously, that happened with the upgrade of the 6.3.1 uh, upgrade of the Free Flight app. So I'm going to have to investigate that. It wasn't like that before. At this point in the video, I'm about five to seven minutes in. No transmission errors. Things are going well. The whole point of this flight today is just to kind of tool around, see if the transmission error returns. That's another egret. You'll notice that is the zoom feature. If you look to the left, you see the little circle. It says now it says 1.0x. That means one times no magnification. Here I'm doing a pan out. I'm flying the drone backwards. Again, just putting the anaphy through its paces. You see the black and white stripes here at the bottom of the screen? That's also a new feature of the 6.3.1 update. It indicates high exposure. Of course, I can see high exposure with my eye. I don't need that, so I'm actually going to turn that feature off in the app. You can turn it off or on. At this point, I'm nearing about the halfway point in the flight, which is about 11 minutes in. The whole flight lasted, I guess, a little shy of 23 minutes. I didn't fly for the entire flight. I could have gone another couple of minutes. I think the Anafi battery lasts 24 minutes. So now I'm going to bring it down low. There's my jacket on the ground. I left my landing pad home. It's better than landing on sand. Here I'm just having a little bit of fun, flying some aerobatic maneuvers. Just getting a feel for the Anafi, putting it through its paces. No transmission error as of yet. Everything's looking good. The Anafi is pretty nimble. It has a lot of settings in the app. You can change it to your liking, your, you know, how you fly. At this point, I'm about 18, 19 minutes into the flight. No transmission error, not even a hint of a problem. I'm gaining confidence at this point. Things are looking really good. Getting ready to land here as the flight nears its end. 
very happy with what I'm seeing. No transmission errors. Time to come in. Something obviously worked. There were no transmission issues. The lag time for the video was almost non-existent. You know, the first time I flew, the video was a little choppy. And so, you know, I think the five gigahertz Wi-Fi had something to do with that. So normally I use 2.4 gigahertz. I switched the channel on the Anafi to five gigahertz and things seem to have worked. Or maybe it was the firmware upgrade, but most probably, it was the Parrot Anafi app upgrade that made the difference and I'll explain why. I can't back that statement up by science. Again, it's just my intuition. But when I think about it, when I was flying on the first flight, the transmission failed. The app looked just like it does whenever I'm starting up my flight. For example, whenever I turn on my controller, before I turn on my Anafi, the controller looks just like it did whenever the transmission failed, whenever I was 400 feet away, 150 feet in the air. So, you know, it's not science, but it looked the same. There was no transmission coming from the Anafi to the controller, but the controller still worked because I could control the Anafi. So it's, it's just a strange situation. When the Anafi's turned off, the, the app looks very, very much like it did whenever the transmission failed. There's no video. It says not connected in red at the top, and the GPS for the Anafi shows red. That's exactly what it looked like whenever I was flying, and that's exactly what it looks like when you turn your controller on and the Anafi is still off. I guess what I'm saying is the commonality is the free flight app. And again, this isn't scientific, this is just me going by my intuition. Regardless of which of the solutions actually worked, I'm just happy that it worked. You know, I bought the Anafi because I wanted to fly it, take video, and take pictures. And now whenever I fly it, I don't have to worry so much about the transmission issue and I can get to the fun of flying the Anafi itself. Well, this certainly has been a challenge and I've really enjoyed investigating this issue. I've gotten to learn a lot more about the Anafi, about even Wi-Fi in general. Did you enjoy the video? I hope you did. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions or if you just wanna say hello, please make a comment below. My name is Joseph for CC Loves Drones. Fly safe and see you next time.